An open warning. I used to be an ex-army officer, still influential and capable enough that you wouldn't even have thought of where I might take you to. So next time, watch your words carefully. Isn't it wonderful? Finally, all the wars in the world are over and the armies can now finally deal with the true danger that threatens the world. Women who talk about pleasure. But on a serious note, you know, women face this kind of violence every single day. And the only reason that this violence continues to happen is because we have this entire portfolio of excuses to justify men's bad behavior. So, for example, you know, any time that you have news of any kind of sexual assault, you'll get this whole bunch of people saying, oh, 70 percent of the rape cases are fake. But if you ever ask a man if he actually knows someone who's filed a fake rape case, he'll tell you, yeah, my cousin's neighbor's dog sitter's aunt's best friend, she knows someone who actually did it. They've never met anyone who's actually filed a fake rape case. But you ask a woman about the sexual assault that she's faced, she can give you 20 examples in the first one minute alone of things that have happened to her personally. We all can. And yet the same narrative continues. We're watching the violence happen. We're watching women go through it. And yet we're still blaming the women. Oh, it must have been the clothes that she was wearing. Oh, she must have smiled at him. Why did she go out so late at night? We need to change this narrative. And I do understand the fear that we have around raising our voice against sexual violence because we've always been made to believe that we are alone in this. But just think, if we were to stand shoulder to shoulder, if we can make sure that the next person who raises their voice never has to feel alone, we can refuse to accept this shit. We can make a difference.